Stepping off the porch stoop. Da -da 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 -da. Good morning, guys. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to everybody. Um, I don't know about you guys. I just kind of get all caught up and awashed in the thankfulness I need to have. I need to have for life this time of year. And whatever you celebrate, however you celebrate Thanksgiving, um, I love American history as well. So I like to think about the treacherous trip a few folk made to start a new life and to have some real freedom many, many years ago and the wonderful Native Americans, the Wampanoag Indians that befriended them uh, with the help of a liaison by the name of Squanto, who has an interesting story of his own you can read about. Those Indians helped those settlers really celebrate and really survive. So this time of year, I think about history and I think about the thankfulness. You know, I heard, I read that the Wampanoag Indians gave thanks every time they harvested anything from this wonderful earth we've been given, whether it was a fish they caught in a stream, um, deer they harvested for much needed protein, especially as winter would approach in those harsh New England climates, uh, right down to a plant that they harvested. So what a wonderful outlook those wise people had on life and what a regenerating and rejuvenating outlook it is. So I'm thankful, thankful to you guys. Little side note guys, I just had a burst of uh, <laughs> activity on my, on my channel. I did a, um, <clears throat> a little musical song. It was just a thing I wrote one morning just to say thanks for 60 subscribers. I was so excited to hit some sort of self-perceived milestone because things were just grinding along so slowly as I've been, I've been um, making videos since midsummer on this project called Eight O'clock Tomato Talk, and uh, something just stuck against the wall there. A couple things. I did a leaf mold video. You can see the leaf mold going on down yonder over there, past the raised beds, and. So that one has taken off and suddenly I'm going from 50, 40, 20 views. And that one is now like a little over 2,200 views. So thank you, thank you guys. And you know who you are guys and gals who commented in particular on that video and others I've done more recently, encouraging me, talking with me, building this community. I wanna make this channel fun. I wanna make gardening fun on this channel. I wanna make it gardening accessible to anyone, whether you have a couple flower pots on a balcony in New York City, <clears throat> or you're blessed enough to have five acres like I'm still asking for the wisdom to take care of on what we have here. You know, it, this, this has just been a real gift for us and more than we could have ever asked for, my wife and I, and I'm just trying to utilize it wisely. So thank you guys for joining in, jumping in the fray here. Thank you folks for commenting. Um, and then there was a second video, uh, the, the, I did the leaf mold one and the second one was just about a song I did. And <laughs> it's, uh, it was just to say thanks for 60 subscribers, as I was saying a minute ago, and it just took off and it's, you know, there's thousands of people, mostly guitar players <laughs> that have chimed into this thing. You know how algorithms are actually, I don't know how algorithms are. Maybe you do. I'm learning though, a very interesting case study in it. So thank you all you guitar players and musicians who jumped in there. Hey, if I can help someone who's into, into uh, music say, hey, maybe I'll garden too, because this guy does this weird channel where he plays a little music every once in a while and um, talks about gardening. If I can help people like that be reached that wouldn't have been reached otherwise, because the main point is getting into gardening, then so be it. Hooray, thank you guys for joining in via that little video, which really took off. So those two videos, the leaf mold video with a couple thousand plus, and then the um, the one where I did the little song, which just kind of went bonkers because all these musicians chimed in. That's a new crowd. So I'm hoping that's a fresh start to this channel and a good boost to it, but I'm really grateful to everybody. Thankful on this beautiful day. 
finally we're above freezing the sun is shining um we're up on a hill where we live so you can almost see you can imagine to see i think at a, the second floor of our house i kind of imagine i can see parts of kentucky so so blessed and so fortunate to be in this country and be on this planet and alive and breathing and enjoying this day let me show you what else i'm grateful for guys so thank you by the way and please subscribe continue subscribing my subscription has by the way gone from 60 that i celebrated like seven to eight days ago to 360. so what do you say at 600 let's do another little commemorative song to commemorate not 60 subscribers but 600. I, i'm just shooting for bigger a bigger audience not for myself though it's fun to be noticed for your, your work and the time you've put in and what the knowledge you've gained over the years. Uh, uh, most of what I'm doing is just piggybacking off other great channels and other great people anyway. Elliot Coleman up in the New England States, his books I've read for years. Uh, Brett Markham, Four Season Harvest, or uh, excuse me, Mini Farm. Mini Farming is his book, the Four Season Harvest, it's Elliot Coleman. And then the channels I watch, um, Kevin from Epic Gardening, Millennial Gardener, The Gardening Channel, James, The Gardening Channel, Gary Piltrick, The Rustic Gardener, I think I'm saying his name right, on and on they go. <clears throat> so, so grateful for them. The gentleman in New Jersey, I can't remember his name, who's been doing the leaf mold and has the 22 acre farm. So many people for, that I have to thank. So let's go for 600. I'll do a song at 600 too. How's that sound? Let's check out what we're doing. Raise bed. Five by three. Isn't it a beauty? Now, yeah, I know. It looks a little peaked, right? What's going on here? Guys, we've had two major freezes and it's just been really, <clears throat> I hope that sun is allowing you to see me. It's been really um, harsh here. We had an early, our average, first average frost, average, average first frost date, let me say that right, is October 25th. I think we had our first frost around October 20th, but it just wouldn't let up. We had so much cold weather. I've had this thing covered, and even though I've had it covered, we've had highs, highs for several days in a row in just the mid 30s. So you can see what's happened here. A lot of peaked looking plants, but guess what? We're gonna harvest a few anyway and be thankful. And I am so grateful that in four season weather, I can still, I can still harvest. And it's, it's, almost, it's almost December. So let's pull a few of these up. There's a beet right there. Not bad. Got some decent tops there. I've got a couple in the fridge. By the way, guys, beets, beets will um, keep wonderfully. So um, you can keep in the fridge for weeks. There's another one right there. Are you seeing that, guys? Can't believe that. Look at that nice golf ball size. Planted these from seed <coughs> in um, mid, <coughs> excuse me, October? No, mid-September. Anyway, it's done well. And so we are just excited to be, thrilled to be pulling stuff up from here this late in the season. <clears throat> okay let's get one more oops almost got the tot soy the tot soy really took a hit too check that out now that one's even bigger a lot of dirt what great dirt this is all that leafy leaf mold dirt i got from the forest the woods around our area dug it from underneath rotted trees and debris Try not to disturb the ground in too big of an area because that can hurt the woods. <clears throat> All right, let's go over here. Carrots. Oh, my goodness. Check this out, guys. Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's get another one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, guys, put it up next to the head for scale. There we go. Carrot earrings. Oh man, that is, <clears throat> that's gotta be at least six or seven inches long, six inches anyway, really nice. Let's get a couple more. Oh, another nice one. <clears throat> There's three right there. Okay, let's try one more. Let's get one of the, um, 
Danvers half long over here. There we go. Now that's a different variety there, but you know, very similar to the red cord satin there. That's the Danvers. Let's pull one more Danvers. Nice. <clears throat> so the Danvers are a little paler. You can see right there. Uh, that's the Danvers. But they're really nice. And so, I mean, then there's the Red Cord Chantenay. I'm sure they're going to taste amazing. <clears throat> Pardon the clearing of the throat. It's been chilly. Very, very cold, as I said. We've, we're on our second. We're just ending our second cold snap so but good goodness i'm glad to be you know in my 60s and staying healthy enough even though there's a kind of cold that's been going around trying to nag people so uh nag you know the general population let me straighten these up yeah so nice huh guys let me just show this real quick <clears throat> there we go one two three four five six carrots very cool Six carrots, three beets, not bad. I'm so grateful for you guys. Let's go for 600. Love all of you tuning in, especially the comments. Thanks for joining 8 o'clock Tomato Talk. Happy, wonderful Thanksgiving to you guys. Let's remember our history. Let's remember where we've been in our own lives that makes us thankful to be where we're at right now. Whatever the case, um, search hard and you'll find something to be thankful for. So start small, think big. Little five by three pl uh, planter here, doing good. <clears throat> it looks a little peaked because we had so much cold weather, even though the, I had plastic on it, it just wasn't enough. Um, yeah, so there we go. Eight o'clock tomato talk, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and for um, hitting that, uh, the bell. I'm still learning the technology, the terminology and all that stuff. Talk to you soon. We're out of here. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving.